Sometimes my optimism of people really comes back to bite me in the ass. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. So I try to pull things from the YouTube community and try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I just got a DM and it was like, yo, did you see the new Nerd City video? I'm like, yo, I didn't even know he had a new video out. And I turned it on and I lost my mind because there I was. In the finale of the series, Shane asked Jake to respond to the criticisms in our last video. There's a video right now that a lot of people are talking about um, from a channel called Nerd City. Oh, oh, everybody was telling Shane to watch the Nerd City video. Everybody was telling Shane did it. Like I freaked out like right after the intro and I like texted everybody. I'm like, hey, look, I'm in the Nerd City video. Ah, I even like tweeted it out. And then like I hit uh, resume and then boom, there I am again. Jake said that concerns about advertising to children are ridiculous, that his merch simply reminds kids to be happy and that we should shut the f up. Jake Paul just clapped back at Nerd City. He does not take advantage of children. You are just a hater. <laughs> It's crazy, it's crazy. Like, no, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Nerd City. So, Nerd City, all of you, if you are watching this, because I just discovered it's like a whole team of people, which makes sense. But if you are all are watching this, thank you so much. I love what you're all doing. But anyways, let's talk a little bit about the lies of Jake Paul, the new Nerd City video. And there's a few things that I want to touch on with this. So, one of the things is, is like, you know, some of you might be like, oh, Chris, this is some more drama. No, this is something that I keep telling you guys, like we gotta be better judges of character. So do I. Like in one of my previous videos, I can't remember if it's the one that they use a clip from, but I mentioned like, hey, maybe, maybe he actually thinks he's giving value and all these other things, right? But no, like I, I appreciate, you know, people like Nerd City and news organizations that are out there to like put out all the information. Like, I'm not into like drama culture and exposed culture and your canceled culture, but like as consumers or even as people, we really need to like know who we're hanging out with, who we're putting our faith in. Is this a good person? Is this somebody I want in my life, right? So we need to look at these things and like, I'm not gonna kick it with Jake Paul anytime soon, but like when people like Nerd City make a video like this, like it helps me see who they really are. For example, you know, um, I love how like Philip DeFranco like jokes about like boycotting boycotts and boycotting this and stuff, but like it helps you like know like what companies do you wanna back and things like that. Like do you wanna put money in their pocket? Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Like um, Tristan and I have talked and like it's, it's really changed the way I do things like there's certain TV shows that I don't watch anymore because of what one of the main characters did in their real life. Like we're talking about like, you know, physical assault and abuse and all sorts of things. And I'm just like, whoa, I don't wanna support this. And this is just me, like you don't gotta do that. But like for me, I, I appreciate knowing about these people, you know, because we're part of the problem. Like we're definitely part of the problem with Jake Paul. Like all of us, like my mom and I talked about it. Like we reinforce that. And especially, especially as parents, when we're allowing our kids to watch this, who, this guy who is not a good example, like we're the problem. Like we create people like Jake Paul. We create people like Logan Paul. Like I'm all about, you know, like, you know, obviously there's laws against like advertising to kids and all of that, by the way, <laughs> Nerd City, they did a great, a great little plug for Squarespace. Amazing, amazing transition. Mwah. Beautiful, executed perfectly. Number three, if you want to make an ad, make it clear. It's an ad so that the dumb kids watching can tell the difference. You need an example? You want an example of what that looks like? We're going to give you one. We're going to tell you about Squarespace now. But anyways, we also need to take responsibility as a parent. You know what I mean? Like, in, unless my kid is going to like steal my bank card and go buy a bunch of Jake Paul merch, like, we need to know what they're watching, how they're being advertised to, and all of that. But let's start talking about lying, okay? Like, 
A lot of you don't know me. A lot of you have met a very good version of Chris. You have met a version of Chris that you might want to hang out with, that you might want to subscribe to, that you might even want to ring the notification bell on, right? But anyways, I used to not be a great person. I used to lie my face off, right? And again, like, I made a video about um, hashtag sorry Shane. I think Shane knew all this stuff, right? Like, Shane... I don't think he was too invested in this. I think he knew, I think he knew Jake and all of them were just full of crap, right? But anyways, like us, like we have to look at this and say like, are we lying? Are we gonna get caught in lies? Because man, I used to lie about everything. I would lie about everything. I was the type of guy where you would say, hey, how long until you're gonna be here? And I'm like, oh, I'm only five minutes away. I'm around the corner. But I hadn't even left my house yet. I would lie about the dumbest things. And if any of you struggle with anxiety, let let me tell you, let me tell you, okay? Your lying is causing a lot of your anxiety, right? Whenever I would lie to somebody, I had to learn how to cover it up. And did I say something that contradicted it? And especially now that I'm growing as a YouTuber, like the last thing I want is for Nerd City to expose me about some stuff. You know what I'm saying? So like, I learned that I cause a lot of my issues with my lies, all right? It causes my anxiety, it causes people not to trust me, it causes people not to like me either. So now I tell the truth. I tell the truth so much it would blow your mind. And if you're new to my channel and just now watching this, I don't have your trust yet, but eventually I will, all right? Like, I remember when me and Tristan first started dating, like, I told her, I'm like, no, I don't lie. Like, that's just not what I do. Like, I'm not a liar. Like, I lied for most of my life, it screwed me over, so now I tell the truth as often as possible, right? And, and she's like, yeah, sure. And you know what, baby girl, we've been together for like two years. Call me out. Call me out on some lies, because you can't do it. But like, it gives me this freedom, right? Like, if you're somebody who lies about this stuff, like, like, just start working on it. Start working on it in little, little increments. Like, I have this freedom. Like, Tristan can pick up my cell phone anytime, go through it, ask me about things, all of that. Like, if I even feel myself about to lie, like, I sit down, and I'm like, whoa, why am I going to lie about this? Why am I going to tell these lies? But like, it's really important that we start looking at this stuff because we we often think that the whole world's out to get, uh, get to get us, right? I used to think that like people just didn't like a fat guy with a beard. No, they didn't like a guy who lied all the time. So I literally just made a video about how like, you have to like walk the walk. You can't just talk the talk. And by the way, let's talk about manipulation real quick. Let's start with a big lie. I don't think a kid would actually believe that and be like wow I'm not cool if I don't have this and like hey mom like I need this to be cool will you buy this for me bullshit Jake if you didn't believe that then why did you speak at a conference just a few months ago to brag about having that power over your fans what Jake Paul did to Shane Dawson was textbook manipulation here's why you act offended like i can't believe i cannot believe you would even ask me if i'm taking advantage of children i cannot believe that i am just i am out of here right like you might be someone who does that or you might have been around someone who used to do that right like uh, and, and usually the people who get the most offended and this is just a broad statement, but you gotta be curious. A lot of people who, who get that upset about being accused, you gotta wonder, you gotta wonder, are they really guilty, right? Like if the if my old girlfriend was like, now oh, did you cheat on me? And I'm just like, I cannot believe that I just stormed out, right? Maya is freaking out. <laughs> you have to question, you have to wonder and say, okay, why are they freaking out so much? Again, I don't think it's Shane's responsibility, but it's like us, like as consumers, like all of you are sitting here watching my YouTube video, right? You're watching my YouTube and I value, you know, um, my integrity, right? I want you to see that my, my actions, they align with my words. I don't just say these things, I do these things. But like, one thing that kind of bugs me is how these influencers hate the word influencer, right? Except for Jake Paul, he said it like a thousand times. But they do influence people. They influence people a lot. I was actually on a podcast over on, uh, it's called Breaking Dad Podcast. I highly recommend you check it out. I'll actually link it down in the description. It was like two hours. But like, something that we were talking about is like, I think a lot of people back certain creators because it justifies their poor behavior, right? So for example, if somebody backs what Jake Paul's doing, it justifies their own bad behaviors in their lives. But like to think that Jake is any 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 semblance of like altruism is absolutely 
bonkers, okay? And <laughs> the last thing I'll talk about with this video is the devil, the devil, that's my boy, <laughs> he came in. And like I said, you know, in the Elvis the Alien video, like, I just, I'm just glad that other people could do this because I can't just hop on here and talk smack. But if, if children are your target audience, you need to do certain things, right? Like one is say that it's an ad, but the other one is, I'm just gonna circle it back to Erica. Like, I'm Erica Costa. Like everybody was trying to act like Erica is this savior. Like Erica is extremely, extremely complicit in everything that's happening, right? Like with Jake filming her and like they're being like, you know, uh, not even nudity, but partial nudity. Like he knows that kids are watching his channel. He's bringing children into his channel. You know what I mean? So to think again, to think that Erica is some kind of saint is bonkers. Like we all really need to be better judges of character and we need to sit back and look at this and say, okay, like, wait, like, am I neglecting certain pieces of this story? I talked about that in my first Nerd City video about Jake Paul. Like, we are forgetting things. I think Nerd City just did an excellent job showing all the contradictions between what he said to Shane and what he's actually doing. And, he, and they pointed out that like, Jake Paul tells us one thing, but he tells like big business magazines another thing, right? He talks about how it's all about making the money, making the money, making the money. And even in, in his courses where he's trying to teach people how to become an influencer, he's trying to teach people how to do the same things he does and the shady tactics that he does, right? So anyways, I don't know. I thought I was done with Shane Dawson videos, but I guess not. So my final opinion on it is, Jake Paul is still kind of a D-bag and I'm kind of glad that they pointed out like, you can't blame your parents for all this stuff. Like, you have free will. Start making better decisions. And it kind of breaks my heart that what everybody feared is probably happening. A, that some of us are, you know, like, you know, sympathizing with Jake Paul, but B, his channel's growing and he's getting more exposure. But I'm glad people like Nerd City are out there to help us make better decisions about who we're gonna watch and who we're gonna subscribe to. You know what I mean? But anyways, that's all I got. Like, let me know down in the comments below. Are you somebody who, who causes your own anxiety because of your lies? If so, how are you gonna work on it? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, anyways, again, thank you so much, Nerd City, for hooking me up and putting me in your video. You're all beautiful, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton, a ton of videos. Videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support me, spread a message of hope when it comes to mental health, you can click or tap on that little Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.